Hey guys, this is Matt. Welcome back to Zen in the Art of Trading. Today's video is going to be extremely short. I'm just going to explain to you guys how to add alerts to your scripts. So you can add this alert functionality to scripts that you create or scripts that you download from other people. Say you find a script on TradingView that you like the look of, but it doesn't generate alerts. Uh, by adding this functionality to the script, you can basically turn any script out there into an alert generating script. So I'm going to be building off lesson four. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link in the video description and go back and watch how we did this. This script just generates RSI signals. So when the RSI goes overboard or oversold, it just plots uh, visual signals to the chart. So I'm just going to rename this to lesson five. Now this is going to be extremely simple. We're just adding one line of code here, and this is going to send out an alert if this particular candle meets our conditions. So all you need to type here is alert condition, open parentheses. And now this function here takes three inputs, it takes a Boolean input, which is the trigger for the alert. If the Boolean is true, then the alert is sent out. It takes a title, which is for the pop-up box and the email heading. And it takes a message, which is like the body, the text body of the alert. So I'll explain all this as I go. First of all, the Boolean, we're going to combine these two Boolean values here into one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, if the RSI is overbought or the RSI is oversold, comma, this alert will be triggered. Now the title of the alert is going to be RSI signal and then we'll put another comma and then the message is going to be set to rsi signal detected for and now trading view added this this new cool alert functionality here where you can use these uh placeholders special placeholders in order to inject certain information from the chart so you can inject the closing price the time etc if you hit the question mark here it'll do have a whole list of things so what we're going to use here is probably just the ticker the ticker will do so you can see here that if you were to use all of this text this is what it would replace as so you can uh, reference the exchange or the in forex's case the broker you can list the ticker symbol the currency pair in our case uh, you could have the price on there and volume and there's a whole bunch of things you can choose from so i'll leave that for you to look through uh, in today's example we're just going to be using ticker so if i just throw that in there hit save that's literally it this script is now ready to generate email and pop-up alerts sms alerts push notifications all of that stuff straight to your phone uh, whenever one of these signals is generated, it's, it's amazingly simple. It's what my one of my favorite things about TradingView is how simple they make this stuff. And just quickly before I move on, I just thought I should better point out the fact that if you hover your mouse over a function that you're unfamiliar with, it'll tell you exactly what inputs it takes. So you can see here it takes a condition, a title, and a message. And if you hold down Control or Command on a Mac and you click on the function it will pop up this help box which will explain in great detail what the function does so now if you hit the create alert button the way that you would set an alert for this script is you just come down here and, and click the name of your script and that's it it's ready to go you select your options here notify an app show uh, pop up etc you can play a sound uh, whatever you like and you can change the message down here uh, so yeah, that's up to you. That's personal. All of this is personal preference, but up here in, under options, you can set how the alert is triggered. So you can set, set it to trigger only once. And that means that if the signal shows up on your chart, you'll get one alert and then the alert will disable itself. Uh, once per bar means that it will repeat uh, every time there's a new bar. So if you get multiple signals like this, it'll send out an alert on this one. Then you won't get an alert for these, this, uh, to these two candles here. But then you get another one here, another one, another one, all in a row. Uh, so that's pretty helpful for day trading. But if you're trading in the higher time frames, it's, it just gets annoying. So you probably don't want to have that set. 
My favorite one to use is once per bar close. So this will only trigger, see once per bar will trigger even before the candle closes. So if you get an alert here, say that this next candle went overbought and then you got an alert saying it was overbought, but then the candle closed and the signal was invalidated, uh, you still get an alert even though the setup uh, didn't really occur. So once per bar close is my personal favorite setting to use. Uh, that means it will only send out alerts for confirmed signals and once per minute is self-explanatory. And that's it. All you do is hit create. It'll be added to your list of alerts. Let me clear out some of these inactive alerts and there you go. Done. Simple as that. So if I just quickly change these settings to the traditional RSI values, just for this example, hit okay and create a new alert. Uh, I'll tick show pop-up. So we'll get an actual pop-up to my screen. I'll change this to that, change it to once per bar close uh, and hit create. Then once this candle closes here, we should get an alert sent to our charting platform and my phone. So let's wait and see what happens. Three, two, one. Ba-dong. And there we go. There's our alert. And I can hear my screen beeping in the background. It's probably going to wake my girlfriend up. It's a bit early here in the morning. So whoops, forgot about that. But anyway, that's it. Done. So that's the end of this lesson. Good luck with your trading. Good luck with your coding. And I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll go over how to detect candlestick patterns. See you there. Have a great day. Goodbye.